hybrid infrastructure has won, meaning that it's going to be a cloud plus conversation from now until the next delivery method of enterprise IT comes available. We're going to have our legacy storage arrays. Most of us are multiple vendor data center designs, our cloud assets, and we are going to move assets from the data center or workloads from the data center into the public cloud. We're gonna move workloads from the public cloud into the data center as we optimize for both cost, performance, and efficiency. That means that the resulting operations model equates to complexity. Private data center doesn't operate in the same way that public cloud operates. Public cloud doesn't operate in the same way that private data center operates. Even if we took the 200 plus projects of the CNCF, Cloud Native Cloud Computing Foundation, whittled it all down to a consistent offering, we're not cloud providers. We can't mimic what they do. However, there are examples of companies looking to address some of this complexity. It's moving slowly, but interesting. HPE recently announced their, let me get, make sure I can get this name right, their, pub, their private cloud business edition or GreenLake private cloud business edition. Why am I doing a video on this? Because I own HPE DHCI system based on their uh, Elytra, Elytra. It's spelled Elytra, by the way, HPE, but their Elytra storage array system, the Elytra 6000 in my case. And talking to HPE, I get this thing for free. It's part of my licensing agreement for the next couple of years. And basically, it is a control plane that allows me to present a cloud interface to my VMware vSphere environment in the CTO Advisor hybrid infrastructure. I haven't played around with it yet, but as I'm thinking through how do I manage complexity, do I want to get in the business of offering my data center assets up to developers as cloud assets, or do I want to think more as a platform team? And this is a tool for more platform teams than it is a interface for developers to consume. I don't wanna give developers yet another API, the GreenLake API into the data center. I want them to continue to use, whether it's OpenShift, Kubernetes, AWS's control plane. I want them to continue to use the API they're familiar with and for my platform team to make that invisible to them. So, my general question to you, where's the battle for hiding the complexity from your developers and managing that complexity for IT? Is that within the platform team? Is that within our cloud providers? Is that within our OEM hardware and ISVs, independent software vendors? I'd love to know your feedback. Talk to you next CTO Dose.